Back to the 90s. Mm. Mm. Yes, um. We back. Like we never left. We never left. We always here, man. Yeah. Rain, sleet, snow, mm. lisp, you know. <laughs> Regardless of miss yeah. we'll be here, innit? Yeah. 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 Every week. Every week, man. Not too much of me though, innit? Hopefully we don't have any mishaps this week. <laughs> I've been practicing hang, biting oh. down. No? Oh. No, no, no. no. I, I had sleep this night, isn't it? It's, do you know what? It's okay, friend. I have too much pride. That's the problem. You reduce it. It made for good content. What, reduce my pride? <laughs> I know, as a Nigerian man, that's very difficult. As a European man, this is just, part of just, like, this is not like a Magna Carta, like rules and regulations. Mm. Pride. Hella pr- pride. Okay. There. And then after that, money. God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your family. Pride is high. See how sense is not making the cut. I mean... It goes about saying, well, yeah. God is below. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what was it? Money and money and pride. Money oh and my pride god! Is high, bro. Oh Babes. my. We yeah. can't confirm what yes. deny. Mm. Don't even lie. That's, that's part of the pride. What above God? Impossible. <laughs> Babes can't be before God. That's like, yeah, that's crazy. I said, Babes can't be before God. What do you mean? Money okay. coming before God is quite blasphemous. It's actually very on brand for a lot of us, unfortunately. Who? All of us in the world, you know, <laughs> we, we worship money. We put, a lot of, we put money before a lot of things, isn't it? So you're right. This is all pod humor, by the way. Isn't it? Mm, so yeah. Before mm, my mm, fellow mm. Yoruba brethren decide to flog me in that, God in first. the market. Yeah, God first at all yeah. times, man. These are just jokes, uh-huh. by the way. So nice Content. to see you, lot. Nice to see, see you, nice. Always. Yeah. How's everyone doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah. We just we're cracking on. Yeah, we're cracking on, man. Yeah. We gotta move on. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm happy we're back. I'll um, start this by saying hashtag. Off the cuff pod. <laughs> Come on. Was that good enough? Yeah. That was, it was great. It was fantastic. <laughs> Christian looking at me, she's waiting for that mistake. Yeah. Nah, you seemed Wait, a little you. nervous. I was nervous. Mm. I, was, I was. It's not like you, man. I don't oh, know, man. You did it, though. I got there, man. Good job. Yeah. Like I said, one mistake every 80 pods. Okay. That's good ratio. You said 200 last week, but we'll let it slide. I think I said it. I just be saying stuff sometimes. I, I don't know if you noticed. I did. Sometimes I just be saying stuff, innit? Yeah. If it's one, if it's one mistake every 200 pods, then that's crazy numbers that's great we're coming up to episode 400 soon, isn't it, my buddy? yeah um i think this is 385 yeah 385 so uh counting down to 400 road to 400 road to 400 man we need to do something special for that still yeah i know enough we're just coming in uh, like <laughs> <laughs> pop a little something and then uh-huh. you know yeah, 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 yeah just a little just a little, little content content yeah, not too crazy yeah. isn't it? so but um yeah you talk about to the 90s with that one at the start boy yeah man um it's going to relate to something that I want to touch on a little bit later. But okay. um, yeah, man, it popped into my head and I was like, oh shit. Mm. I remember me and my um, my big sister going to buy the single in Woolworths. Remember that day and age when we used to go to the shop to buy songs? Goodness. Yeah. Buy tapes, CDs. Yeah. That's cool. A quick little 79p or 99p for, for the single. Mm. Yeah. And then you'd get um, like a remix or two on a single as well, wouldn't it? Am I bugging? Yeah, like some like yeah. unreleased singles and like a house mix. Yeah, they love yeah, the house mix. So <laughs> yeah, like Gary's mix. <laughs> so you get like a, yeah, a f- free track single and then it will have like the garage mix or the yeah. dance, the Euro dance mix. Euro dance, you know. Or um, some left the instrumental. Yes. True. Yeah, yeah. 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 So if you That wanna, would help the song get bigger as well because they want to have their own version out there. Uh, I mean, back then, like no one would have heard it. No, but if you're <laughs> if you're if you're buying the um, the single, in the day and age of us like making our own CDs, our own tapes and stuff. Yeah, am I, am I, am I reaching them? Like that was like that's time period of people like it, doing mixtapes and stuff. It, yeah, you had to like DJ really be mixes. out on the streets handing them handing them out. Course, Otherwise, yeah. no one would really hear it. Of that course, was, yeah. this, this wasn't the internet age. Mm. In day and age of Mike Yossi forcing you to buy his music. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Missy man, she um she came and collaborated with Mel B. Obviously, it was a I think it was her first solo single when she left the oh. when when they all went to do their respective solo careers, isn't it? Yeah. So it was it was a moment. Were there green lasers in this video? Yeah, there was. Yeah, so and like um time. you remember that time period? Yeah. When they when they broke up. Mel B had a baby father in a video. Oh, uh, yeah, who did you think was gonna be the one to like go clear? Because you know, like when bands break up, it's always that yeah. that person that everyone thinks is gonna be the the standout star. Um, I thought maybe Emma. Okay. And Mel C, maybe. Fair. 
And so, like, they had quite, like, you know, that sound at the time, that's what they were, and then Mel, Mel C was a bit edgier. Mel C definitely had the most distinct voice in the group. She did the track with um, Left, Left Eye. Eye. Yeah. And she had a couple bangers, though. We would just be friends. Things will never be the same again. Mm, yeah, that was a banger they still. All, all I went number one. Go a little urban. I remember, do you remember when um, <laughs> Not Dame Dash was trying to do the Victoria Beckham thing? Yeah. And it didn't, it didn't she work out. The, she was trying to, trying to sign her to the rock. So like, he came he came to the UK. Yeah. It's around the time when like, SAS were making inroads in New York and stuff with Dipset or whatever. So he's come to the UK. <laughs> Everyone's expecting him, because obviously Rockefeller, like, to go to the streets, innit? But he's tried to go the pop route, which I get because he's trying to shoot for the stars, innit? However... There was one song that she did under him, which was a slap. I can't even lie. Which was you remember what it was called? I can't remember what it was called. The one she did with Dane Bowers was a banger. Mm. Trust the hell's you out of your mind. Out of your mind. Every every video that um, Victoria did, yeah, had a fake David Beckham lookalike in it. <laughs> As I love interest. Bro, these, these are the rules, bro. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna be cozying up to one of these <laughs> these, these, these young models and that, yeah, like, a young little doppelganger in it. In it on, mm. on, on set. You're not the real one though, but you know you can attempt. Hey, you do like your Beckham? job, bro. What do you think mm. this is? Do you think Beckham was like the type of don to be on set? Or well, in between training and that? Just <laughs> <laughs> that's why he got the boot kicked. That's <laughs> why he got the boot kicked in his face. Um, what? So, okay, you got this. At least a sport sports segment. Um, like they felt like he was becoming a bit too, too distracted much a, with fashion and music. Kind of just like getting wrapped up into too much of a world, pop star. Yeah, what were they calling him at the time? Um, golden balls. Yeah, did they call him yeah, golden, golden balls? That. I think it, was some, it might have been a spin on, on her name because she was posh spice. I don't know if they call him a spice, but I don't know. I might, I might no, be wrong. Posh, posh and Bex. Yeah, was there. It, yeah, was there was there as the the, the duo in it? But mm. Yeah, he was. That's when he started wearing a sarong and, and they had a Beckingham Palace, that big yeah. house that they had. Yeah, that wedding. Bex was out here. You know? He was out here. Yeah. Rebecca Lose. Yeah. Me and David Beckham fuck, fuck the, the same, same hoes. hoes. <laughs> 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 Rick Ross is going to break his hands. Oh my gosh. That man is too funny. Oh, mate. He's so funny. You see the way the man, like if you're the guy that love football, the way the man them talk about Bex here, yeah, it's almost like crush adjacent. Like, yeah. If there he was, was, if the there was one guy that the guys were like, up. Yeah. Like globally as well. Yeah. He was really global. Absolutely. Do you think we'll ever have that again? Yeah, because I remember like um, about two weeks ago, I think they were talking about like who is the face of the league. Oh, the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a lot of people, it was a big discussion and they started talking about like global appeal, like who who's really known, like someone was saying Kevin De Bruyne and someone was like, mm, you know, and then nowadays you equate it to how many followers that this, this footballer may have on social media that plays a part yeah that plays a part like someone like salah he's big in the the arab community until it's christmas time <laughs> 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 that's why he's got like you know two three four times more followers than um a lot of the 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 big players in the premier league that community does support though yeah once they, once they someone like son them. at tottenham of course, that side of the world. He's got a career on a map. Yeah, yeah. Because people, people like they they look at his quite like insidious moves when like certain teams sign certain people. They're like, okay, cool. It's, it's for shirt sales. Whether Donny's good or not, if you sign someone from like Southeast Asia, of course you want it to be good. But okay. some people look at it like, yeah, this is a this is a money move because yeah. he's in the Premier League. They don't necessarily have a lot of representation yeah. in Europe, so the shirts are going to move. Like when Pogba came to back to the Premier League, he was the real like face of the league. Like he's global. Pogba. Yeah. Sold shirts immediately. Did the whole um, video shoot with um, Stormzy. Stormzy. Like the rollout was nuts. Yeah. Obviously they had the Adidas because they're both on Adidas and obviously United was... It kind of applied applied pressure on other teams to like have that level of a rollout for a new um, signing. What happened to the guy that was letting off fireworks in his house? What? What, Balotelli? That's the one. That's back in the day. (laughs) (laughs) She's, she's giving off Premier League years, you know, like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think old about school, that often. Guy, sports content. Yeah, and he was a nutcase though. Yeah, he was. Always he could doing never stuff. be the face of the league now. Like. Just like, was but he was hair. popular though. He was a big deal when he yeah, came. He was, he was actually popular. a big deal. So. He was popular. A lot of it because of his antics. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to think though. He'll be like, I don't think there's a standout like face or like one like a clear front runner. What today? Yeah, for the Premier Premiership at the moment, I get you. Salah's definitely got a lot of followers. Um... Not in a front, not in a rude, but does the salad salad speak like good English? <laughs> no, g- <laughs> no, he doesn't. Because those things do play a part when you're talking about like global appeal and like. Um, remember when um, Ronaldo first came to United? 
English wasn't the best, innit? Oh. And then you could see him, he went and got his teeth done, he worked on his image, his English is actually quite... He worked on, like, every single aspect. So. And those things play a part with regards to, like, branding you and, like, yeah. you've been able to appeal to different demographics across the world. Nice. Innit? So and being the best. Of course. Or that, one of, do you know I, what I mean? Do you know what I think now in this day and age, that almost becomes secondary. Ability. Yeah, like you do have to be good to a certain level, but I can look like a Grealish. Like he's, he's, I see him. Um, <laughs> like he is the, in terms of like. In England. In, in England. And, but brands are standing next to him. They are, but like. But he's outside, outside, he's like local. That he's, he's, local. He's local. And of course, the pigment also helps. Um, he's. Yeah. He's the one they're going for. But for my example, he doesn't, in my opinion, not necessarily like set the world a lot on the football pitch. Yeah. Um, but then if you look at Mbappe. Yeah, he's like you know that superstar personified. Absolutely, because he's ability wise, he's doing it on the world stage. Youngest um, ever player to score a hat trick in a in a in a World Cup, like yeah. all of these things, and his branding is 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 out of it. No, no, yeah, of course. If that one goes the right, same, but if I just don't feel like there's one clear stand up. But if you're going like, especially after like um, Messi and Ronaldo in like the twilight. Period of their career, yeah. You're looking at the next people is is Mbappe. It would have been Neymar, but he's the funny thing is he's still a global. He's brand. still a global brand, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because of obviously the nation he plays for, what it, what it represents for them, and the style of football that he plays football as, well, as, well, as well, and like you know, a lot of the footballers nowadays, like there's a lot of like hip hop connotations to how they move and how they dress. Yeah, um, you see AC Milan, like they're. Um, they wear this suit, off white suit. Off white, yeah, off white. Culture. Isn't um, it? when they come, when they come off the team bus and they first arrive in the stadium, that's like, cool. It's it's starting to slowly become like the NBA, where like when they first come off the bus, like it's like a runway thing. <laughs> I like that for basketball. I don't know if, don't know if I necessarily want that for football. Mm. Would you? Because you see the footballers now. Sorry. sorry, you see the footballers now. Like they, um, like Rashford and that, Sancho and them man. Like yeah. they're on. The, the private jet bus down. Yeah, no, do you know what I mean? You know, no, no, it's, it's, it's becoming that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm mad at all that. Like, you know, go and enjoy your money, man. Yeah, card, so for I'm sure. Not, I'm not angry. That. But the, that kind of NBA style stuff, like coming off the bus and be super drippy. But these are wealthy people, so of course they're going to be in. Yeah. You would at least think anyway, being like nice threads in it. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, off white, like official, you know, there's a collaboration with AC Milan. Is not some official um, off the cuff merch. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. Well, wow, nigga. Bro, we need some. Bro, we need to sell some stuff to the people, bro. <laughs> it's such a talk. No, no, but it's just facts, though, isn't it? Yeah. The, listen, I reckon if we do have, do it properly, people will buy. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I'll be out here flogging that shit. Yeah, and it will sell. And back of the trunk. Yeah. Go do what you got to do. Hand to hand sells. You guys want to? You want to? You want to avoid delivery charge? <laughs> <laughs> Come and link me this location right now. <laughs> At this time on this specific day, you want to get away, innit? So going to meet the people. Got to touch them. It's good. I like that, man. It's, it's always good when you when you build from the ground up. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> Not that like wasn't that. even intentional. Get your mind out of the gutter. You just you heard touching you like. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> love language. <laughs> how would you? <laughs> how would you feel about um, like British football taking on that kind of US fanfare and it's a whole stage show kind of vibe? No, um, here's like the typical British grumpiness coming out. And mix them with your bad vibes. I remember there was an FA Cup um, about six, seven years ago, maybe, where Tiny Tiny Temple was performing at the start, and I was just like, "What well, pass up before kickoff?" <laughs> <laughs> um, written stars. Allow me, man. It's motivational. That yeah, was a banger, man. Yeah. I can't even. I lie. hear you, but allow me, man. But I, I just I, like I didn't. Nah, we don't need this. It's not our thing, man. It's not our thing, man. Just like the team come out and let's 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 go. Let's just go smash beers at halftime. Yeah, like I mean, it's FA Cup, not the World Cup. Chill. Mm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't need that halftime show. I, I understand yeah. having that at the World Cup. Okay. But the FA Cup, come on, man. The British public, like the the football fans, they don't want to see this. You got a geared up, six pints deep. Yeah, and then you're bringing out um, Dave at halftime. Alarm. Who the yeah. fuck is this no, guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the man. If you go and get a check, I'm all for it. But I don't think you need that. It's not our culture, in it. So yeah, 
I don't, I don't we're busy fans. like singing the chants of our football teams. Yeah. Yeah. Saka, go on. You play so well on the football pitch. Sports. <laughs> Saka is killing that. Yeah, they said about to get 300 bags. See? Yeah. Shout out to him, man. 300 bags. That's what he's saying. The, um, the rumor that it's going to be. Um, Weekly. Uh, yeah, new five year deal. He deserves it's that. Like you know. Five hundred, um, three hundred racks. Isn't Carrying them on the, on his back. Yeah, man. And England, club and country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give him that. Like, listen, young black boy, get the money. And listen, he's Nige. Everybody, he's everybody's little. He's Nige, Everybody's little brother, and his girlfriend's black. Ah, uh, well, as, as things stand, you can do no wrong. He actually <laughs> looks like everyone's little bro. Yeah, he does. And what's about this? He's a. He's not even. He's a big youth, you know. Oh, how old is he? No, as in like obviously age wise, but when you if you. When he looks like a little boy. When you see him out and about, Saka's not small. He's, he's not high. He's sm- no, he, he doesn't. He's small. He's <laughs> he's quite small, but he's like he's solid. Like yeah. he's firm. He's yeah. strong. He's oh, strong. Yeah. Like he, he can. Quite... He can. He he's physical as well. Yeah, he can that's, look after himself. Like that's a big part of his game as well. Yeah. He can shrug off like the big dons. Yeah. Apart from that time when that guy was trying to tear his shirt. No, but that was a season, man. That was Keelini. Man pulled you by the collar. And he was like, you know the racial by connotations? The scruff of the man neck. tried to hang him. Mid- like, that's crazy, man. And like, that's a grown man. You're about 38. <laughs> <laughs> Let go of him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he yeah, really yeah. dragged him back. Yeah, man dragged him by the collar, you know. That was, yeah. was piss poor in it. But I yeah. want to get to um, all the talking points this week because we ain't got super long. Um, mm. Bro, grand opening, grand closing. One minute you're flavour of the month. And then next week, big mess up. Talk to me. Jonathan Majors. Mm. It was the, the girl them sugar for some women. Their MCM, you know. I enjoyed Creed. Yeah, if you were born in 68. Yeah, chill out. I even used one of the Creed workouts. I was like, yeah, this is, this is decent. I might be henching for oh, a week. <laughs> That's going to be funny. I might be henching for weeks. <laughs> I, I looked at that workout and I was like, yeah, you man do you. Like, Did you actually get like through like a whole ten sets of shoulder shrugs? <laughs> Crazy! Oh, so no, no, I got through. I, no, but the, the only one I didn't do in the workout was the pull ups because like after doing like six workouts, I didn't want to do pull ups after. You're like, but yeah. the, but Be strong. but the weights that that Donny in a video was doing, I was like, yeah, nah. it's a lot still. It's yeah, a lot. Um, but getting the funnies out of the way, so the news come out that um, he allegedly assaulted his was it his girlfriend. Yeah, uh, it's like yes. come out that it's his girlfriend. Is it? Oh, it hasn't it hasn't come out. Well, has sorry. Yeah, yeah, so it. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, Just, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So he sorted someone in it. Um, and what I didn't like initially was the, the talk started being around. See, I told you guys. Uh, it started being about his looks in it because right. like, conversation saying like, like he obviously got him sugar the MCM, and for the people that didn't find him attractive, weirdly this was almost like justification for them for not finding him attractive. I don't know why. These what? Things, like, why that becomes a thing? I never should, saw that. Angle, the, fo- you know? the focus should be like he's allegedly assaulted someone. And if he's done that, then fire bun that Ross Clark. Yeah, you just gotta just dash man away, innit? <laughs> but it was it's just been weird because you've been like, <laughs> of course, it's actually not surprising because then you get the old um allegedly someone that's not black, innit? So the angle becomes, ah, oh, see, this is what you get for messing with the white women, innit? And now the black men on one on one end are going, Well, are you trying to say that it would have been better if it was a black woman because we're not gonna <sighs> snitch, we're not gonna tell? Which I hear loudly and definitely understand. Yeah. But it is a history of black men, especially in America, being involved in situations with white women. And you know, white women's tears are, you know, very potent. Mm. And they actually have not done anything. So that's why some people, without enough information, will go, aha, maybe she's lying, innit? Mm. But I don't know when it comes to stuff like domestic violence, sexual assault, etc. I don't think there's any colour lines. No, not at all. I don't want any parity with um, black, white, blue, yellow, green. If you've done it, you've done it, innit? Yeah. I agree. Um, what do you what do you think? What did you see? Because like I said, you said you didn't see what I saw in regards to um the looks conversation or like the white woman thing. What, right. What did you see and what was your opinions when when it came out? Um I saw I think first it was like arrested for assaulting a woman. Yeah. Then it was this woman is his girlfriend. And then honestly, I didn't care to look at anything yeah. else. I didn't care. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because um, when did it come out on on a Saturday or something like that? I think it was Friday, Saturday. I think it was on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. like um, I never really had a chance to really look at what was going on. Obviously, I saw the allegations and a few group chats were talking about it, and I saw some people on the timeline talking about it, and um, it was just 
as if everyone was like they they the general consensus was like yeah take him to the cleaners yeah do you know what i mean like and um then what i then saw afterwards is that there were people that were dropping subliminals um weeks and months prior about yeah this actor who's supposedly currently popping at the moment everyone loves him he's getting all the roles but he has a history of whatever he's been um arrested for right so that this is abuse been a thing for like you know like not even just um with women just like on set just how he was with with people just this his general character was he feeling himself too much is that the um and a lot of like the portrayal that we see on in interviews it's all a facade it's all sort of like scripted like and and you know what yeah like when i started to see that it made me think a little bit like because when i was watching a speech of him at the um when uh, michael b jordan got the hollywood star okay he went up and you know he gave like this long eight minute speech or some shit like and i was just like what he's saying is cool but like it just seems very scripted okay so when this comes out you start kind of connecting dots a little bit i mean i don't know if there are dots to to connect if there are dots to connect but like you know sometimes like you know when sometimes you can tell when someone's being insincere or like you can you can tell that like there's some sort of like this this ain't this doesn't seem real. I don't know. I, sometimes you can't really call that on someone, is, and it is unfair. But like sometimes it seems as a hater. It, <laughs> it, no, but sometimes things seem as they seem, isn't it? Yeah. I think not to give him being his defense, but in that situation, so if, if Michael B. Jordan's been given, was it Hollywood Walk of, Walk of Fame? Yeah, I would like to think someone prepared something if they're going to go up there and speak for him or on his behalf. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, someone like that, you might have someone help you write something. So mm. as a standalone, if this didn't occur. I wouldn't be upset about someone. If I was Michael B. Jordan, I would be the one that has prepared a speech because it's about me and my journey rather than someone else come up in that way. And, you know, mine went like biblical and (laughs) he just, I don't know. know. Okay. Was it like we're standing here together? Was it like Kanye West taking the mic away from Taylor Swift? (laughs) The thing is, Beyonce had the best video of all time. (laughs) Was it like that? It wasn't like that. Okay, it was cool. it was more long winded, yeah. and because you and I have um, the type of relationship that we do, if you were to be honoured, yeah, I would have something lengthy to say about you because we've been working for years, and you know, you're my friend, you're my brother, and stuff. Yeah, but it just I don't know, like it <laughs> it wouldn't have been like. That. <laughs> I need to go and watch this. I need to use it. Um, I'll find the video. But that's just my POV in it. Like someone else can be like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Like, you know. I love it. I love him. Do you know what it is? (laughs) If if these things didn't happen, um, it would be just beautiful because when he's on the, I don't know what, um, what publication, when he's wearing the pink, Jack and he's topless and people talking about like masculinity and he had the conversation in the interview when he defined masculinity, he was flavor of the month. And I'm not mad at people as a standalone. But I did see people not buying it as well. That's fair. But I'm not mad at people when this comes out and they're kind of shocked, innit? Because how you present it is not that way, innit? Yeah. Now, putting that to the side, this is another case, another example of like, not revering people too much. They are, they're human beings. Yeah. And that's not to sugarcoat what's going on here, innit? Because if it's done, that's mad, innit? Mm-hmm. But don't revere celebrities. So I don't know if you remember, we had an episode of As Riot ages ago. Mm-hmm. I think we've like, we're taking YouTube more seriously. Mm-hmm. We spoke, I don't know what the situation happened then, but we spoke about she was speaking about not revere. I think it might have been a Girl King thing and Snoop Dogg. I think it was that. Not yep. revering celebrities too much. And like, these are just human beings. Yeah. Yes, they're on a pedestal. We might have an affinity for them because their music, their acting or um, sport because they're good on the pitch. But these are just human beings mm-hmm. who will mess up in it. Um, and of course, this is a major mess up if this is what he's done. But case in point again, just because Donnie has uh, got rippling abs and <laughs> good shoulders... <laughs> Doesn't take away from what might have happened there, innit? Yeah. So it was just just like another example of like, yeah, don't kind of believe a hype a bit too much. It's true. It? But at the same time, if someone presents a certain way, 
that's how you presented, isn't it? Until you draw us your real face, isn't it? Yeah. Um, like it's I don't know, like with how everything has um transpired and um whatever's going on at the moment, the the alleged victim had uh dropped the charges or I, oh. I saw that. But and I've seen something in it's, like, it's, it's been then, very conflicting the last couple of days where it's like yeah. but I don't know who's releasing these things, isn't it? So yeah. I'm trying to learn my lesson of a conversation I had before. <laughs> just wait for everything to, to develop in this it. Is it. So um, we go from there basically. Yeah, because um I mean one of the most accurate sources out there are TMZ. <laughs> and what did they say? Um I'm just gonna check this camera on. I I believe they confirmed his arrest. Okay. But I'm not sure if um, whoever published the fact that, like, you know, charges have been dropped. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that is, but yeah. because I saw something about two hours ago, I said again. So again? I don't know. Oh, again, I don't know. I, <laughs> again, I, you know, I don't know. Um, maybe this, um, the initial arrest prompted other things. To be investigated, and then obviously, yeah. like you know, oh. I don't know. Okay. It could, it could be that, and and um, it's all speculation at this point because yeah. I don't know th- um, too much on it, so I can't really give a a, a full. No, opinion. we can't. We can't say any, anything more than that. The only reason it's even a talking point is the stuff outside of it because of the mm. racial potential racial elements. But um, if you look at like what he's been casted for yeah. over the next eighteen months. Everyone's like, yeah, Marvel are trying to protect their investment. <laughs> because <laughs> they're throwing the money, the, the hush money. Um, who's the guy um plays Flash? Ezra Miller. Mm-hmm. Apparently, if you look into his um controversies, he's accused of a madness and certain behavior oh. and like someone that's kind of been swept under the rug. Was it recent or was it something of they're his recent, past? They're like within the last like, couple of years. Okay. They're recent enough for it to be an issue and like big, big um film has like this, this is the last one they need. Yeah. So it's like if we can if we can get past this and you can somehow clean this up, we can keep this gravy train running. Because I was going to say not, like you're you're cooked. M- <laughs> because Marvel are experienced in people with shaky pasts. Because yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Um, has had a, a colorful past. A colorful past. You know, addicted to heroin and you know doing doing time in jail and things what like time that. Time in jail for. Um, I can't remember. Double check. Maybe assault. The thing is, see with the stuff like that, yeah? But like, obviously... If you, the, was, if you were self-harm in regards to drugs, I'm, that's not going to stop you becoming yeah. Iron Man, in my opinion. Well, I mean, yeah, he, he had to clean himself up. Yeah. He went into, checked into rehab and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And we like Iron a Man... Story, innit? Yeah, and Iron Man was like a rejuvenation of his career because he was casted perfectly for that. And he looks like the Donny in the comics. I, yeah. I didn't actually think about the, like, movie houses putting... Or throwing money at the situation. That's not something that crossed my mind. But it makes I wouldn't put sense. it past them. I don't yeah. know that is absolute fact. Yeah. It's I not, it's, I wouldn't put it past It will never be um a known fact. It's yeah, supposed to be something that is only behind the scenes, but obviously people know that corporations can just throw their money around, especially when they're trying to achieve something. Yeah. If you're a cash cow for these people, we're gonna get the most high powerful high pow- high powered lawyers, I'd assume, because we don't want anything to mess up with because he's meant to be in like like three, four films across the next year or two. Yeah, it? when the powers that be like really take to you and, um, you know, have you in certain things, then they're gonna try and pro- they're gonna try and protect that their investment until their investment. it's like really brazy. <laughs> then they'll, they'll actually sever really <laughs> they'll really sever <laughs> like sever ties. Like they'll really well, no, turn their backs. Bro. Listen, it, it goes on to our next conversation we need to have. No clock. He's he's trying to do his redemption story. Um, a couple weeks ago, I came in there and spoke of, like my opinions. You know, sounds like hate to me. And I was um, <laughs> I wasn't too happy seeing Tommy Robinson um, around too many black men and mics yeah. mm. and roadcasters. Yeah, and, uh, and 4K <laughs> <Yep>. cameras <laughs> and sofas. Roadcaster Pro Free, you know, <laughs> the EDO version. Mm. I'm just there chilling <laughs> because people want to go and clean up their acts, innit? it. So yeah. Yeah. I see him doing podcasts. I'm like, what's, all, what's like? Who wants to talk Tommy Robinson now? It's not um, shocking to see people speak to racists because this happened. There's, you can watch content back in the day of like the KKK on talk shows and they have debates and like they got like Donahue and stuff. They will go at each other and stuff. Okay. And that's the top end. That's, that's, that's top shelf racism. Mm. Creme de la creme in it. <laughs> so, top shelf. Well, I just don't see 
any true benefit of, and if you're going to do it, at least push back on points proper, mm. properly, if you're going to make it that spectacle. And I don't feel that was done. So now when I see no Clark, who, I could be wrong, I've not really seen him around this space when he was high and flying and doing you his did, thing. You didn't. Um, <laughs> like, man thought that um, the Kid Out Hood trilogy was enough. I mean... <laughs> Man, really so you know what? I fed you lot. I fed the streets. Do you know what? I'm not. I'm not, dim- I'm not diminishing that it was. Um, it wasn't a part of like the culture and stuff. Kid was a part of the culture. But the bro. thing is, is that like, um, there are black. You know how we were talking about like you know um, certain artists that are not from the culture that use our music as a stepping stone. Like mm. um, I think Post Malone as yeah, an yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White Iverson, bro. Like black Great. people could do it to too. Of course, of course. Black people could do it too. Like, you know, you're not really, do you know what I'm saying? Like, once you see what it's like to be in a mainstream, like, you forget. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's been a number of years where we, we've we had outlets that you could speak to. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't really see it. Mm. But so, why are we so thirsty for someone's redemption story when, you know, we shouldn't really be having these conversations? Okay, so let's start there. The reason I brought it up, so he, um, James English podcast, Mm-hmm. Um, Winners Talkings so A Pound Sterling And Big Doug SE Dons And then the most recent one The one that's kind of like Blowing him up a bit more Conversation wise ZZ Mills Right So he's been doing the pod tour innit? How okay. recent were the other two? Within the last couple of weeks Okay, okay. Oh. Uh, I think the, I think the Winners Talking only came out A few days before He's doing a rollout It's just he's just he's It's easy just unlucky That like Winners Talking Those guys are more on Instagram mm-hmm. They're not on Twitter Like that heavy okay. So um, The most recent sit down Was ZZ Mills And the internet cooked her, in my opinion, it mm. for what they call platforming an abuser. Twitter cooked her, yeah. Instagram on her side. Okay, I didn't check that side of the face. Oh. I'll go on. Look. Instagram. <laughs> the Instagram audience is a little bit different. Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Mm. They're still uh, real hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they, they don't care. They do what they want. Um, and that was oh, that's what I was seeing. So, do you are you on that side of the fence where like he shouldn't be given a platform or space to talk and give his side of things, defend himself? <sighs> Do you know what? Like, I'm not mad at the. Um, I'm not. I'm not necessarily mad at her. Is you know whatever she decides to do with her platform. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, is that I, I, I've only seen the trailer that she dropped. Okay. I haven't watched the interview because I don't really have interest in him. That's fair. In anything that he has to say either. And for me, a lot of people were saying like, like you know, a lot of the women lied, but I was like, 20 is too many for me. The thing is, it's, that's what I think, I don't even remember we spoke with Sebastian Till, um, Dreaming Mask Black. Yes. Um, and unluckily for him, he came on a week where there was uh, that kind of conversation. Uh, so he yeah. came to promo his, the, the program. And Shout that. out Sebastian yeah. Till. Shout out to him. Um, um, but obviously that was part of the, the conversation that week, innit? And I think at the time, that was where we, we were, we're like, 20 is a lot, innit? Now... This isn't shooting him any bell, but that 20 is, is mixed in with that inappropriate comments, bullying, sexual behaviour, mm. unsolicited nudes. And that's what it's all mixed in with. And he's, okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I've do. i watched like damn near all of it. Um, and I'm just going to be honest. I don't know if it makes him look any more innocent. Oh. I think it makes him, in my opinion, it still looks hazy in it. Now his thing is, um, it didn't even it got dropped, but never got picked up because he never actually got charged with anything. But that's abusers. That's their usual line that like, yeah. I never actually got charged with anything. Yeah. And I know the rebuttal to that is, it's actually very hard for a lot of cases to actually go to court and stuff, isn't it? Because he's saying people didn't actually get he didn't get reported to police. The people went to the papers. So his kind of angles is like this is kind of like a, an attack yeah. on him because of maybe how he's come across. And it, even in a sit down, it doesn't come across the nicest. I can definitely believe um, arrogant allegations labelled at him, maybe bullying. Um, and he doesn't also shy away from that a little bit as well. Um, and I think because he knows he's kind of banged rights a bit, he's been honest about um, workplace culture and like maybe like, you know that kind of line of like maybe inappropriate jokes with a colleague and stuff. Yeah. But he's, his anger is that it was coming from both sides type yeah. of thing, isn't it? So, um, but yeah, when I, when I watch that, I'm like, my first thought is if you are lying... <laughs> I'm doing a horrible job of oh, trying to clear a name. Goodness. But if you are actually innocent in a situation like this, how does one go about clearing their name? 
Yeah. So that's, 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 that's the thing. That's, that's, there's obviously, with, there's more to, with us to talk about, but I want to start there. If you're actually innocent, mm. what is the right way to go about this? Because you don't talk, people look at it as an admission of guilt. You do come out and talk. We critique it. It's so like, we never see you around these platforms. You want to come around now. Yeah. You're trying to use people. Behind the scenes, people are saying that his um, high profile, uh, high power friends have been DMing journalists, trying to take people out for dinners and drinks so they can, you know, schmooze stuff over and then yeah. try and have to sit down. And some people who people look at as more credible refused it. People like Azizi Mills, not saying that she got taken out to dinner, but that was yeah. the accusation. Yeah. That, okay, cool. You have to sit down with him. I'm, I'm like, you know, how does one go about that if you're innocent? Do you know what? Yeah. And this is why to me, life is a beautiful thing and human beings because when you are someone like Noel Clark that is trying to clear their name yeah, and your back is against the wall and you're trying to get back into people's good graces, the jig is up. <laughs> I was waiting to hear what the commercial did, that's how the jig is up. The jig is up because um, your character really starts to show. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that like, he's not really aware of how he's coming across because as soon as Easy Mills mentioned Adam Deacon, this was Sam from Kid Art Hood. No, the face changed. He put the hoodie on. But he then did explain the, his version of events with Adam Deacon. And if what he's saying is true, he should always hate Adam Deacon. Fair. Because his, his version of events is, this guy essentially was harassing me because there was the uh, whole restraining order thing. They had issues because um, yeah, like they've had their own personal issues, isn't it? Um, and what he's kind of leaning to, it towards is like there's people I've had issues with back in the day and he feels like those people are part of this, you know, attack on him with these women and this story and going to the papers. His angle is that, you know, they, um, they usually give you like two weeks to come with your evidence to clear your name. They gave him 24 hours. It was around the time he won the BAFTA, innit? Mm. That's when the stuff came out. Like essentially it was meant to be like his highest achievement. You know, Bulletproof was out there. Yeah. They even touched on Asher D kind of stepping away from him. I don't even remember what Asher D came out and basically said like, I'm not kind of involved with that. I stand for who I stand for. And people looked at him like, no, nah, you meant to stand with your friend. But bro, the block's hot, bro. Hey, listen, and I, man. And just be, and this is what we've got to say this now, yeah? Sorry to cut you, Vans. I would like to think that, you know, I know my friends and they know me. But I do understand also the thought process of you can't swear for anyone. Like, yeah, like self-preservation. You, you, you never know. You really you can't. Ne- you never, ever know. And yeah. it's, it's, that's a sad reality about things, isn't it? So... I'm, I'm not mad at Ashley. And the thing is, no, what I did, like, he didn't throw him on the bus either because it was easy to ask, like, so how did you feel about um, Ashley, like, not basically standing with you? Yeah. And he's like, I love that guy. I'm just not going to get into that. And she Fair. pushed a bit more, pushed a bit more. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. Do you, not to put on the spot, we'll, we'll answer it. Do you think she was right, she was wrong to have him on the ZZ Meal show to have that conversation? Would I do it? No. Yeah. Can I say she's wrong? Also, no. Okay. Um, I, for me anyway, the saving grace is that this is a job. And when you think about the way social media works yeah. in this day and age, that's guaranteed, that's guaranteed views, that's guaranteed clicks. And that's what makes the money. Yeah. Um, but sometimes it is difficult to separate someone's work from what they believe in sometimes you need people to separate work and what they believe in like okay, you yeah. can't just say under certain circumstances you can't just say like oh but that's my job that's just what I do because that was her defence like no one gets onto Gail King or um, yeah. Louis Theroux which people said kind of debunked because like people do get onto them for, for their sit downs and their documentaries and their interviews and stuff so do you know what it is I think the nature of the allegations is the problem yeah, do you know what fair. I'm saying like these are a lot of things that are against women Right, so I think a lot of women were getting on to ZZ Mills is because, like, rah, this is a serial abuser based on the allegations. Why would you want to be across the couch with someone like that yeah. as a woman? Because some people look at stuff like, is the juice worth the squeeze? So on her, you know what I'm saying? It like, maybe because- the clout game, the and if you're the person that can have the difficult conversations, you like, I see the the, the kind of game in like with the Tom Robinson thing. Even with on a smaller scale, Conor Ben with the um, doping allegations with the recent fight with a uh-huh. man, he went and sat down with Piers Morgan. Like over there, he will he will interview Andrew Tate. He will, there's certain platforms that won't speak to certain people in it, yeah. but there's some people that these are guaranteed hits, and I want to be the person that's kind of in the middle and fair to everybody. I have yeah. anybody on. Yeah, so um, you know, 
the Gail King and the Louis Farouk comparisons and the Ross Kemp comparisons were quickly shut down and because number one they're they're two different things and these people were people were saying well people were saying that you're not a journalist you know there's a difference between you know sitting down and asking people questions and what, what actually what, what kind of question <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that hey this is this is um the the pushback that i was seeing my thing is you if you're going to go because down of the, those comparisons yeah if you're going to go down the journalist angle my thing is now you kind of cornered yourself you made your bed you got a line and now we're going to hold you to that standard all the time because that might be a segue for a conversation what makes someone a journalist but we know what a journalist is that like we study journalism what degree <laughs> Not this, I mean Accredited by certain bodies Yes Yeah That plays a part Working for certain publications Yeah That will kind of Certifications give you the, yeah. Accreditations mm. All of them things there Precipitation sorry. Yeah and there's just the style You know That you know Journalists have to go by um, Just by practice mm. Yeah Obviously like you know Some people are redefining journalism And in, in Probably that way they, They'll probably say it but there's a lot of people that would disagree with that. ZZ style of interviewing doesn't give me journalism. What does it give you? Not journalism. Asking Don hey, that's, if that's they're vocal. Do you look at the thing? And I'm not mad at that, like, because everyone's got different styles. But yeah, I think man. something of that magnitude and that seriousness, I don't know if that person was best suited. Even myself, I would like to think I'm, I, I can have a good conversation. I don't know. If I would sit down with my man. Yeah, I mean, and like, it's not to discredit like what ZZ's done and accomplished for herself. It's just that when you put yourself or when you are placed in a certain position, yeah, you got to take the negative with the positive. Like I said, Instagram took to that shit well and right. Twitter didn't. Yeah, I think on, on Twitter, so on our things that space that we see, I don't think she took to the criticism one. And, and on one end, if you are, a lot of people are going at, not even going at, if a lot of people have something to say about your recent move, it might not be easy to deal with, but that's what comes with the, because there would have been a time period where you wanted people to care about what you do and what you say. That's also um, a benefit to you. Because if people have nothing to say about you, that's almost a bad thing as well. I'm not saying you should go for the outrage thing. Yeah. But in a time period where you wanted to have the retweets and the following and, People like having an opinion on your interview. If you drop an interview tomorrow and that no one has nothing to say, good or bad, yeah. that's kind of poor. Yeah, you I do mean, kind of want that in it. So I think, uh, yeah. Um, I think enough. she should stop playing oblivious. Well, like, that's I, what I look at. I like, I look I, at it like she's playing a bit. Like you knew what was going to happen when you sat down with my man. So just kind of own it a bit more. Don't pre- don't pretend. Don't hide away from. You went for. It's like even my man Murad Morali. Yeah. So I know behind the scenes before he sat down with Chucky, they'd been shopping him around trying to get him to sit down with different black outlets because they listen they're trying to find i need to come back to the internet i'm trying to do this thing i was getting traction with my um reviews recaps on love island when that whole stuff come out with the erase play and foot fetish stuff he kind of got rubbed out for a minute no clock in the interview said he's not worked for like two years so he's trying to figure out a way that how can i get public perception back on my side so that i'm more palatable and the phone can start ringing again because i want to work in general like in the uk sort of like celebrity scene yeah on most days bro it's a slow news day absolutely so there's always that opportunity for someone to try and be the talking point yeah do you know what i mean like and sometimes like it's not even down to like oh you know that what you were doing it 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 really comes down to your level of thinking Mm. so like it could just come down to zizi thinking that there is absolutely nothing wrong with this this is gonna be Something that is going to be big for me. I'll be honest with you, bro. I, I, I would be very shocked if she genuinely thought that. How she? That's how she might present on the internet. You are. You will be stupid. At best, at worst, I don't want to say what I'd want to say, but at best, you'd be stupid to think that you could sit down with no clock with the gravity of the accusations and not get think that you're going to get some level of backlash. Yeah, I don't think she didn't expect backlash. I think that she knew that she would expect backlash because I think she knows that with everything that she posts. Yeah, Chris, do me because just see how much time is left on that camera for me, please, darling. Because the backlash is also what propelled her as much as her praise. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Like, so she's no stranger to backlash. Mm. It's just 
Chrissy standing mm. there perplexed. That's killing <laughs> Maybe the type of backlash that she was getting. Yeah, it's a lot of backlash. Um, cool, cheers. And um, yeah, like I'd, I'd, I just think that um, you just have to take what comes with what you do now that you're in that space. It's now a job for her, isn't it? So this is what comes with it, but man, if you just own it, man. Don't, like Everything that she does, like the show with Yinka, I've seen backlash. Yeah. Like, you know, the headscarf diaries, I've seen the backlash. The ZZ yeah. Meal shows, you know, I've seen backlash. I've seen people referencing, like, you know, what kind of, <laughs> what you call asking all of these rappers whether they're a bocat or not, journalism. Mm. These are the kind of comments that I'm seeing to her, like, but, you know. Some of that's just catty comments. It's funny. Yeah, they are, they are, they are, they are. Those things are funny because you get to see how immature some of the men them are. But the thing is, is that. it's like, it's kind of an icebreaker. It's because of that comparison, the girl king, the Louis Farouk, the the, the Ross Kemp. But even Louis, Louis, Louis um, had the big, big documentary with um, um, Jimmy Savile. And in a lot of people's opinion, in my opinion, he didn't push back hard enough on like, Mm -hmm. who people, like who we know you to be, innit? Yeah. So it was very kind of cookie cutter and like, you kind of let him get. He just became the. Yeah, she's not the first, bro. Like, he's like, kind of like an audible figure rather than like, no, you're a pedophile, bro. That's, people, what, he, that's what he really yeah. is. You're a pedophile. You're not just weird old audible yeah. figure. You're a pedophile. That's what you are. People got into Reggie Yates in the uh, Spack Nation. Yeah, that doc, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, you didn't push push on um, past Toby enough. Mm. You know, because we saw him go. He pushed more on the, the, the South African pastor. <laughs> and I was on him for that as well at the time. <laughs> and then when it comes out, allegedly, they say, I don't know how true it is, but they said that he has a cousin that was in Spack. And that could just be a coinky dink. Mm. But what, what what a coincidence. What a coincidence. Wow. Yeah. So like you didn't you didn't do enough of the investigation. I think for some people, just having the stories enough, because like you said earlier, what Chrissy said is the day and age we live in of clicks, impressions, engagement, the views are enough, so job done kind of thing, innit? Um, regardless of how pe- how well people receive it, they've watched it. Do they? And like if we leave the interview to be up for a week, I'm sure the, the numbers will be high for the interview, innit? So and then it, even if the, even if the interview itself necessarily, but then just the tweets, the Instagram clips, all those things, you add those things into your engagement yeah. impression package and say, look, this is what we did off this piece of content. Actually, he's looking at that nigga. Are oh, you bastard? Because bulletproof was cold. But they, they were getting they were getting, <laughs> they were getting off the bag. Oh, they had a bro, at Sky One, but, <laughs> Sky uh, Atlantic, but body cup like two two and two black leads, you know, like two two police officers and the two black guys doing their thing. You don't watch Sky One, bulletproof. I don't know what you just said, bro. But, but I don't know what you just said. So I'm looking at you two. I, honestly, well, I don't wait, know. Wait, hold on. Vans got this as well. But, ca- no. Uh, got you, were, you were like the black... Ca- <laughs> ca- <laughs> what did you say about Ashley, maybe? Asha D. Yes. Because they have the series together, Bulletproof. Yeah. He's Chris looking at him like, Chris you bastard. So oh, yes. Yeah. What are you about here? Bastard. Buddy cop. Yeah, because like... That's what they call it. Bulletproof wasn't like embraced by the compu- the community like that. You're gonna say the what? The, the compu- compu- the compu- <laughs> Screw you! You've you been, you been hanging around me too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't even talk again. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was I was saying that the black community like weren't really talking about bullet- bulletproof because Donnie didn't come and sit on no Bullet- podcast. Uh- <laughs> I'm with you though because it was, was, it, it was yeah. a good thing. You know, know what I mean? Show. Like, and it was a good show. It, it was renewed for a new season, so mm-hmm. it was obviously, you know, doing what it was doing. And then obviously, this the, the allegations came out, and they had to they, they had to pull the plug on it. Sorry. Yeah, that was brazy. If Noel Clark was a good guy, agenda go on. He would have been like, nah, just find a replacement. But don't Ashley has nothing to do with this. I don't think that's his call to make. Use your power. It's a oh, poison okay, chalice, isn't it? I don't think it's like we're pulling the plug, bro. Don't pull the plug on it. Maybe if he wrote the show, then probably that's why. Even then, they still because have you're like, still power. Like they can still with something like that. They write some of these things into contracts. Like something like this, you're done, bro. We have the power to say, nah, this is off. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, he can. He could if he if he was. A, I don't know if he did or didn't. He can voice that. But I still feel like they that will fall on deaf ears. It's still their call whether they um, recast the, the actor, um, whether they pull the plug, whether it's just on hiatus for a while. It's still their decision. I think in this day and age where scandal is so commonplace, mm. it, would be, <laughs> it would be so far-fetched to think that there isn't some sort of clause in... There's behavioural clauses the, for yeah. sure. And it wasn't like um, an established franchise. No. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not like... 
um, the current Doctor Who like had these allegations, they're not going to cancel Doctor Who. Yeah. They're just going to replace Doctor Who. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I and love when shows do that, bro. They just like, know. Godfather of Harlem. They just got a new Malcolm X. Yeah. Yeah. Like, where's, where's, where's my yeah. man? Because what, what season is it? Three? Season three, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the part. Like, and the 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 US is different, man. Like, mm. we're still trying to cut through and you had two black guys playing lead on a series on Sky and it got renewed as well. So it was obviously doing good things, but then the powers that be still, you know, can just lock the whole shit off. <laughs> well, you think I'm investing all this money and I'm not going to have to find Jose? <laughs> and you guys are out here running amok, <laughs> sending your meat to women unsolicited. That's one of the allegations that he's mm-hmm. sending send his, uh, send his meat out in there. Yeah. We need to have a conversation in the community about like unsolicited, unsolicited nudes, but not from men. That was brazy. I have a lisp. I have a condition. <laughs> no, you did it really well, but I was yeah. like, wow, roller coaster. If it is, I picked the worst words. Yeah, I was looking mm. at you like, like friend. See, she sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> she splash. <laughs> <laughs> she splash is crazy. Wow. <laughs> should, I, should I get it fixed? Um, no, this, this part of my right. identity. Yeah. You reckon if I don't have a lisp anymore, I'll lose my powers? No, you always have your powers. It's your identity. Yeah, but I need to fix it. I need to fix this little, this sl- that slight little gap here. But, oh yeah, we'll go with us. Oh, is it the overbite? Yeah, you That's suck my thumb when I was younger, innit? That's why. Oh, yeah. is that what happens? Yeah, if you yeah. suck your thumb too long, it'll mess up the straightness of your teeth, innit? Okay. So if, I, if that was closed, you wouldn't, yeah, I, I wouldn't mean, have the lisp. I, I don't know, my, my little cousin, he was prolific. Oh, with a lisp? He, he ain't got a lisp. Oh, oh sucking the thumb. Mm. Maybe he's one, one of the lucky ones, man. My parents slap braces on me as soon as they could. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I just dodged it. My mom was on me to get them as well. It's my bad, isn't it? So my daughter's at that age where she can't wait, and I was like, "You wait." <laughs> yeah, I really wanted them. <laughs> yeah, I and then when, when I got them, them I was like, "Why did I rush for this? Why did I want this?" Because you can't have I right, can't have sugary. Yeah, ah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you will still do your thing. Just like brush your teeth, then not supposed to have like gum or bite into apples. I was like, okay, relax. Going to school, yeah, with kids. Yeah, where there's mouth full of braces. Relentless banter. You just don't know what you're going to see in them. Okay. Because there was a lot of unhygienic kids. Oh, yeah. But the way the way Vance tees up certain things, yeah. I was looking at Chris like, bro, land this plane, bro. <laughs> um, I don't know if I oh, ever sorry, told you sorry. guys. Um, I had braces when I was in school. Okay. And we were playing hockey and PE. And I said... Before you go on. <laughs> Did you have like the Daddy. the helmet joint, <laughs> or was it just braces, braces? Because which had the helmet attached you know to when, the brace. You know oh you my god! The, <laughs> the, the <laughs> mad joints with the braces. How bad was it? I had the headgear, yes, but I only had to wear it at night, so it, it clipped into my braces. It wasn't like laugh, just laugh. You good? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh. I'm, yeah. No, I, do you know what the the imagery is just funny. I I'm sure I've told you guys before. Um I was at my I was younger and I was staying at my friend's house. Yeah. And so we were all like upstairs and obviously night time, so I like hooked my headgear on and then my some of my auntie's friends had come over, like they were going out. So they were like, Oh, good night, kids. And then one of the aunties saw me, she's like, Yeah, what happened? I was like, Why was she screaming like that? Because she saw she thought I'd been in an accident. Because Chrissy had that head. like typical, you know, like the NFL braces, like with <laughs> the headgear and stuff with the acne and the glasses. <laughs> hey, first that, of all, put extra sauce on. Yeah, first of all. Skin is immaculate, by ben, the way. Ben said you had the braces, the helmet, and the acne. That's a mean triple threat. I did have braces and the glasses. And, glasses. and the glasses. You had yeah. braces and glasses? Yeah. School must have been interesting for you, man. No, it's fine. Don't, l- don't listen, because remember, this podcast is worldwide. Yeah. One of your classmates might come out and tell us the truth. The whole reason I started talking about this is because one time we were in PE, right. and I said, I don't want to go in goal. What did they make me do? Go in goal. They made me go in goal. With the glasses and that. First of all, Glass relax. Glasses fogging up the <laughs> shades relax. and that. Relax. No, I didn't wear my glasses in PE. I can see they're just a bit of my sight. Um, anyway, I took a hockey ball to the face, like full, full pelt. I remember I had braces, so mm. all the inside of my mouth, mash up, mash up everything. Horrible. There was a Donian um, at school that had a ball 
hit his mouth and his lip got stuck in his braces. Serious? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was like, shout out you, boy, because no. when they tear it off, that's slicing your lip. Mm. Getting your braces tightened was the worst. Like, you felt like, even to eat, even to bite into a sponge cake, it's painful because your teeth are just... Sensitive and stuff. <sighs> that's why, I, like, this is why my teeth are how it looks now because once I got them braces off and they were like, oh, yeah, you got to wear the retainer. I put on the retainer and I was like, ain't no way. <laughs> if I can take this shit off, <laughs> I'm not going to be disciplined with this. Oh, my God. I got well, now as an adult, you want those things you want to go back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I got, um, so I got, uh, when I got my braces taken off, I got uh, the removal board. No. The I'll, remo- be, I'll be honest with you, yeah. I think you guys just stop hanging out with me. <laughs> because- the removal board. <laughs> It still sounded like a remember, like professor when he's transitioning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, from buddy love to buddy love. <laughs> <That's laughs> <heavy. laughs> <laughs> hey, before you yeah. met me, you could speak Queen's English. You could mm. do voiceovers. Can I, try again? I think I jinxed you. Can I try again? Go on, go again. Yes. So when I got my braces taken off, I yeah. also. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. I want to get... <laughs> No, when I got my braces taken off, I got removable brace. Removal. I got a removable brace, mm. yes. But <laughs> Invisalign. <laughs> you lot are silly. Get it together. Get it together. But I also got a permanent brace. So it's gone it goes from both my incisors. Okay. But across the back. Right. And it's never come off. They said it'll never come off. Really? It's been there since I was like 15 maybe no. 14 13 Probably 14 14 Yeah <laughs> It's never coming off Damn I'm trying to hold this laugh together Do you I'm know sorry, what but... What's next Listen It's <laughs> Part of your past such an uncle <laughs> Don't be embarrassed listen listen listen, listen 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 We've all had braces But you got a good smile oh, though Except for Thanks. Except for you Falls. Hey, Not too much on me man Chill out <laughs> All of a sudden you're scared to show your teeth. <laughs> Lisa, I'll be smiling a wide big yeah. smile, that Issa Race smile. Come mm. on, show all your teeth. She's got about a hundred okay. teeth. Hey, chill out, not too much on Issa, man. Chill out, man. Not too much on Issa, yeah. yeah. Not too much on Issa, man. Yeah, I love Issa. You enjoying your juice there? I'm not just, not just, you know. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I'm just making sure because Do you want one? No, I'm alright. I've got cool. water. I've got water. I have to be I have mm, to be safe. Lean. So because, I, what's next? No, because outside in the streets, they're saying that um certain brands are trying to poison the mandem. Oh, yeah, rare nephews. Yeah. Come outside. We need to speak to you. The congregation would like to have a word. Shaky. No, congregation was strong. Congregation. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's always been this thing here yeah, when I speak to my um, brethren from the islands and they say like, <laughs> the rare nephew in yard yeah. is different from the rare nephew getting to you because like, you know, just, just, these are just old wives telling that. <laughs> Lo and behold. <laughs> Lo and behold. <laughs> the rare nephew that we get in the UK, apparently a lot of people are getting sick, they're getting mm. ill, end up in hospital. And it's not from like, oh, they drank too much Ray, like they've had like two cups and they and, that, and that's that's very worrying to hear. Mm-hmm. Um I don't drink Ray anymore, but retired. To those that drink that are drinking Ray, they really need to be careful. Like I think there was um a post that came out um where people were showing the difference between like, you know, the genuine authentic mm-hmm. Ray and um, you know, the counterfeit Ray. Which is what is hospitalizing people. And, Ray themselves had know, to come out and they made a statement as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they made a statement. Yeah, uh, uh, is that Ray and Nephew UK though, or yeah, is it yeah, like the global? Ray, I think it's Ray and Nephew UK. I can find yeah. it. Right. Um, because I think I think the global Ray need to make a statement because this is dangerous. From when people's um, you know parents, uncles, and stuff are being in hospital, yeah. I'm drinking this. Like, what's going on? This is what it says. So Ray Nephew is aware um, of a small number of reports on social media that counterfeit bottles of the product may be in circulation, which we take very seriously. We took immediate action by reporting this to the police and the Trading Standards Authority. Ray Nephew's products are created in compliance with strict health and safety requirements. We therefore encourage consumers to buy from reputable sources and to always look for the red tamper evident safety seal. One mark of authentic Ray Nephew which should make a crick sound and breaks into several pieces. So that's a way of telling if it's legit or not. If you or anyone you know is concerned that they have purchased inauthentic Ray Nephew, please send this to Campari Group UK at the below address where it will be sent for independent testing 
and inform the police immediately. Phoning the police for rain if he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. But I hate you. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? Because of how Ray smells. Yeah. A lot of people who don't drink Ray would be like, you know what? How can you tell? Because the smell is so potent. It's, it smells already like you shouldn't even be drinking this. Petrol in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so then, like, what's the distinction? Like, how do you, you know, like, the common person won't know this. Yeah. This is what's the worrying thing for me. Like, the, there's a lot of people that won't know this and they will drink it casually. Mm. I think the people that drink Ray drink Ray because of how strong it is and how, how strong the smell is. So it's for the people that are in that space in that community that drink Ray in a few. Mm-hmm. And for them, they will know because like this is all like a little small inter community conversation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, no, like, absolutely. You don't just go to the bar and like randomly, oh yeah, I'm going to have some Ray tonight. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not where you start, bro. It's like <laughs> low, lower your manager expectations, lower that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Because the first time I had Ray, I was like, what the hell is this? Do you know what's so mad? When I first started drinking Ray, it was one summer, we was drinking it with Ting. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tonight, like, Ting's popping, bro. Like, that combination was the one. And what's mad? Maybe, like, the first, maybe six, seven, it, it didn't have the effect it had on other people. Like, to me, I was like, right, this is, not that it was light, it was definitely strong, but we was, I was back and we was enjoying ourselves. And there was one fateful night, yeah. I think I had, like, maybe, like, a four-week gap. We didn't have no Ray. when we was going out loads. And, like, I had, like, a four-week gap. I had oh, Ray again, yeah? Mental. Like, three drinks in, lean. <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, yeah. My, my Free rays will lean off like the majority. Yeah, like, yeah. And should them shits be double? See you next week. Well, <laughs> when I was in Jamaica, <laughs> I bought back um, a Ray jug. It had a handle. But oh, that's the proper joke. Mm. Couple liters. How long did it last? About a year. Oh. Do you remember that um, episode 100 when we drank Ray Nephew for like three hours? And what was the one that um, that you were holding that was bigger than you? Chill out. <laughs> Crazy. The, the bottle was big. <laughs> that no, bottle was... No, the bottle was massive. Huge. Was I'll pull it from the archive seven. and I'll post Crazy. it again on my gram and that. I was the like... The bottle was <laughs> massive. I was like, <laughs> Foles is definitely going to gym at the moment because that was a big bottle. I was, I was holding it like this, like a little baby. I was holding it to my chest. The bottle was massive. Yeah. Those were the good old days, man. My mum was just... Yeah, that's when I could take it. Yo. Pause. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> I didn't say anything. I was trying to control. <laughs> hey, the self edit is hilarious, man. You know what? Borderline. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> well, it's a borderline. So yeah, stay safe out there, um, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah man, stay safe out there, man. Because feel like Chris is just drinking a uh, pink gin. Yes, tonic. I won't say the brand because low, low in calories. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a sponsored post. Pink gin, pink shirt. That's what we're doing today, man. Um, is that your favorite color? Pink. I've come to the conclusion recently that it is. Okay, it's good for you though. Okay. Did you have one before that? Um, I had a pink jumper and a pink hoodie. No, I, I like your favorite color before oh. you came to the conclusion that pink is your favorite color. Black. <laughs> Fair enough. You're a terrorist. No. Kidding, kidding. Sorry. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Someone's coming though. For all the all the black queens. You say good someone or summer, someone. summer. Okay. Summer is that, coming. With that good melanin. We are fully Pink, in spring. Lime green, yeah. your oranges, your hot yellows. Yeah. Put the colour on. Yeah. I We've lost an hour's sleep. <laughs> Bro, that makes a difference, you know. It did. I need an hour back. Yeah, I need, I need it back. Run but it back. I saw yesterday, seven o'clock, sunshine. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. We're that. here now. Yeah, we need it. My summer's coming, man. So um, we said it last week, like the, the main motives are they're, they're, they're racking up. So I think we might need to stay inside for April. <laughs> so daylight savings Ow. and financial savings for April. <laughs> you, Good. I might keep you in a race. Yeah, I, like, I like you've been there before, man. <laughs> so, 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 I'm back. You scared? You right? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. good. Thanks. Cool, cool, cool. Knocked her glasses off. Flashbacks. Um. <laughs> you've been talking to you. Hey, 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 different. That's a different type of podcast. <laughs> Chrissy After Dark. <laughs> Chrissy Hive. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Chrissy Hive, man. Have you got any um, Chrissy's corner questions this week? Oh. Um, I think, I mean, um, there's obviously more stuff to talk about, but I'll just put you on the spot. Um, oh, well, I didn't really prepare because it wasn't in the docket. Okay. But um, I mentioned to Vance the other day. I don't know if you guys want to do it now, if you can think, in, think of anything. Yeah. But you guys have an opportunity to ask me anything. Wow. The one time I have to put you on the spot properly. Hmm. 
Nothing. We can move on. Okay, no silly question. Wait, um, <laughs> wait, hang on. If if, can, me, uh, no, if wait, on, sorry, 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 apologies. Sorry. You said you think you mentioned it to me the other day. What day was this? <laughs> what day of the week? And what type of week were you having? <laughs> you were pressing phone, so you probably didn't hear me. That's what. That's um translation. That's light shade. The accusations are your. I know what that is. Phone. I know what that is. Okay, it's just, fine. Just making sure in case you didn't see or hear it. But I said it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll ask a question, yeah? Light-hearted, <laughs> isn't it? Let's not take this too serious, yeah? Okay. God forbid me and Vans break up. Who gets custody of Chrissy? <laughs> okay, whose house would you rather live in? Do you know what, yeah? By fire, by force. You lot just have to make up. I'm so sorry for you lot's little beef. That's great. Well, you don't want to live with me Monday to Friday. What? Vans can be weekend dad, bro. No, that's no, no, that's no. cool, man. It's not going to happen. Otherwise, I'll just I'll just start my own thing if you don't want to beef. That's fine. I'll do the school run, pack no, lunch. no. Nah. It's all or nothing. You say you want to live in a one household? You, lot, you lot are a duo. Yeah, I need a two-parent pod household. Okay, cool, cool. I'll just double-check it. That was a trick question. Because if, you, I want, if you, whoever you picked over, the other one, the other one you got beef with. Oh, okay, yeah, so and I could never beef with you guys. Love that. Impossible. Come on, pod love. I need hearts, me. please. Have you got anything to, to ask, Chrissy? I need hearts, please. Okay, so yeah, hearts on command. I guess. There we go. Thank yeah. you. Love, love, love over everything. There we go. I don't have any questions. Okay. We letting Chrissy no get off scot free. That is absolutely no, fine. because I don't want to. I don't want to ask like a, a question that I didn't have to think about. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm with you. I'm with okay, you. Okay, so should we put a pin in it for now? We can put a pin in it and circle back to it next week. Mm, mm, mm. We definitely can. Yeah. Are you um watching anything good at the minute? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Because Love Is Blind is back. Are you know yeah. <laughs> I've been seeing people talk about Donnie's hairline. That's all. I'm, what I'm going to say to you is, um, is what, Kwame. So choppy Waters. No, hey! it's not Choppy Waters. You see the fullbacks, yeah? Is it the Jolie and Lescott? No, I see. Listen, the fullbacks on that trim, yeah? Right. They're playing, Trent they're and playing, Robertson. They're playing everybody on side. Okay. They're back. Right. The full the, the wingbacks, are, they're not bombing on, they're back. Oh, okay. Yeah, they can't be <laughs> Robertson and Trent. But they're then. playing deep. Everyone's on side. If you're a striker, mm. on side the whole game. It looks relaxed as well. Do you know what's more disappointing? Because obviously, I, I find oh. this show ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. it's given French speaking African. No, no, it's just got the higher top in it. Like, yeah, it's, it's weird, me. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see. Don't need yeah. I was going to say my name's Alex. <laughs> so you can come across I more appealing. I was like, hold on, excuse me, where? <laughs> like, if I say the words that I want to say, they'll pack is me that, off this internet. <laughs> is that what he said? That's what he said. He actually said it out loud. So he deserves that hairline. And, and he brought his guitar to play to the bass on that. I he's oh, he's got a ukulele. He, Guitar, bro. Oh, Guitar, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, the last Love, and, Love is Blind that I watched, there was a Donnie playing a ukulele yeah. every every episode. Love is Blind is hel- oh, it's yeah, hilarious co- concept. I was like, Ooh. so you guys sit behind this screen, you get to know someone, and then pick, and then we then we get the big reveal. I understand the concept of like them saying that nowadays everything is like superficial, mm. Yeah, where People are just attracted by looks. Mm. Let's see if we can get people to vibe together. Yeah. But under the pretense of a game show, I think that some people are just maybe forcing the vibe for the television, or maybe the producers are placing people in these rooms and saying like, yo, you got to make it work with this one. Yeah, no, this one's like, yeah. hey, like by five, by by listen, if you want TV time, you have to love her. But I know that, like, if this is what, like, you know, regular society would be to go off, like, a lot of people will have, like, very different partners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. My thing is, there's one Don and he's 26. I'm like, brother, you've not even tried, bro. You're 26 and your love is blind. Yeah. You're taking a piss, bro. Oh. No, you're, bro, you're 26 and your love is blind. I think that's not, yeah. I, that's not a show for people in their 20s. I'd, I'd, I, agree. I don't think so. Like, bro, you've not even had a heartbreak yet, man. Go outside, wow. man. It's true. <laughs> bro, go Cancun for a weekend or something, man. Go and live your life. Bro. Like, trying to, to, to <laughs> not trying to see what she's on, but trying to, like, just understand her vibe without even knowing what she looks like. You're bugging, bro. Yeah. This is what. A have lot you, of these shows watched, are disasters. Are yeah. A lot of the people that are on these shows are horrible people. And this, 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 um, this girl, Micah, hilarious name for, for a girl, by the way, as well. Oh, I. I yeah, the one that I was going to say, what Richards is on there. Chill out, man. Oh, my mate. She's got this guy, Kwame, his head is like scrambled over her. Like, absolutely scrambled. Donnie was crying in that. Spoiler Ew. Enough. Yeah, Donnie was crying in that. Is it ill? No, no, that's the way he was crying, yeah. That's when the toxic masculinity needs to kick in. 
That's when he slapped the back I of his neck. I can imagine him sobbing. He was sobbing, bro. <laughs> like that infamous video of the Donny in the altar. Uh, chill out. <laughs> nah, that level of crying, bro, stand up. She might have the Grip Reaper, you don't know. Mm. Even so, I'm marrying you. <laughs> What's the crying about? No, you can't He's like, you can't believe it. You can't believe it. Can't believe it's like, luck. This is it. This I is the one I'm for I'm actually life. here. Yeah. Yeah. Why this show is so funny is because you can clearly see the people that have, they have regrets over who they've picked in it. So, my man. When they see them, once yeah, they see once, them. Once, right? he's, once he's, you see the other person, like, oh, okay, that's what you look like. Oh, that's what the person looks like that I really wanted to be with and I didn't pick. Oh. I'd vomit. And then, <laughs> so imagine like, Chris if she a, sees me now and then she's like, oh. But it's babe, there's one babe on there. Is it Irina? Where I, she's, I don't are you, are you not, after you watch it, it where she's like, I'm um, on the spoilers all over the place. That's where, um, Jeez, babes is back. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you could gonna, you gonna still with someone's lazy back in the house and that. <laughs> Man's been binging, I, love is blind. Man, watch no belly, no paid in full, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even get to watch Power. This bear love is blind and that running the household and that. It's babe Marina, she's like, it's bait, she doesn't like her guy. Like she's making, she's like, you know, when someone's no affection, like if you touch me, ew, like she's, as soon as my mom tries to like rub the shoulder, she gets up. Like it's so obvious. Get off me. But the other people you want are already coupled up. So how do you go about getting someone from the other partner? And, that? and that's where that we're at on the show currently or where I'm at anyway. And uh, yeah, love is blind, man. Oh, he's got a wink at them. I mean, yeah. Could like, you imagine that though, with, with, your, with your person and like, well, your heart's somewhere else. Or well, somebody wants your person. How do you approach both 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 of them? I don't know. That's a difficult one. On TV, yeah. I think on that's TV. that's that's the key thing here. It's on TV, so you have to be really guided in the way you behave. You got to be guided. And do you have to though? Because also for good TV, you want the chaos. Yeah, you yeah. don't want wholesome television. But I also feel like the people who are moving mad are also still being guided in their madness. Because Kwame's trying to do like he's trying to tiptoe with what he's trying to because like so okay cool. There's, there was two girls, Micah, and I've forgotten his girlfriend, and like he's, he's, he's with his fiance. So he picked her, but the Micah babe basically didn't pick him in it. Mm. She basically tried to propose and she turned him down in it. Mm. So he picked the other babe that he kind of had a connection with at the start, but now he's uh. seen the Micah girl. And what she's doing is like, you know, like, I want you to move to me, but I'm putting the feelers out in it. Yeah. So Donnie was sat there, his baby's behind him. Man is sat like this close with the babe in front of him, chatting for like 20, 30 minutes, whilst his other baby sat there eating. Um, her lunch and that, and he's what? just ignoring her. Then they go back to the room, and then have to have the debrief on like, so what was that kind of all about, innit? it? Embarrass you, you know. We need to explore these um, connections. Is the word of the day? I don't, it's on. It's on TV. That's very crazy to me. You need to watch it, man. So you, you might. Um, I put it on and I fell asleep. Okay, it wasn't really grabbing me, you know. Um, I feel like. Do you know what? Shout out to everyone. <laughs> when Chris is over stuff, yeah, you know, wonderful. Thanks. Because. Uh, it's just go them. Mm. And maybe the chaos and the madness. <clears throat> Excuse me, but could personally yeah. can't do that one. So you couldn't no. get married to somebody you don't know what it looked like? No. You don't I don't know I don't know anything about you outside of what you've told me. That is yeah. scary, and then we have to share a life. What if I find out that like you're a dumpster diver or something? Or a what? A dumpster diver. Some people do that. What's dumpster diver? What's, yeah, what like, is that? Um they will go in bins and like get food from bins and stuff. But this, my specific point here is that there are some people that do that because they're being tight. That's a different level. Of, yes. That's different. Level. What I was, kind I was, of gonna, tightness say, is that? I was going to say cost of living crisis, but that's a different level no, of tight. Yeah, people that's are doing that because they're tight. Right. Yeah. And it's, you, you don't know... Like, does he sleep with one eye open? Like, but you know what's mad? <laughs> they're they're one of those dons that like, are like, oh yeah, like um, at eight o'clock, Pret are gonna throw out there like sandwiches that no, haven't no, been opened. No, 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 but people do that. So this is what I'm saying. Um, shops and stuff they can't legally sell that food. There's nothing wrong with that food. They can't sell yeah. it next day. People go there and it's like a free for you can go there and collect food and stuff. Yeah. Some people do do that. I'm not overly mad at that. Now, if you're going in a bin, yes, this is what I'm saying. Then that's a bit different, isn't it? Yes. You don't know what kind of weird like idiosyncrasies this person has. And oh, idiosyncrasy. Let me let me write that one down for next week. I'm gonna attempt that one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
I need so, to find a way to like, why are you like so put dumb? it in there with, and for it to flow why are you so where it's not bad. I stole it from her. Oh my gosh. I'm stealing a black woman's intellectual property. <laughs> Idiosyncrasy. Get, cool. get I'm going to add that one. Get on my nerves. <laughs> she thought she could just drop that one and then move on. Like, just, like we didn't hear it. She dropped that like a flex bomb. People's quirks then. Yeah. Mm. Um, like the on the last season, there was the guy who liked to make his own toothpaste and yeah, liked to like, make all his own body wash and stuff like that. Yeah, and he yeah. didn't believe in deodorant. Low it. Was sick. Low it. Would you smell like, bro? Ooh. And where he'd he make his own um, deodorant. He made his own toothpaste. He was like, oh, you don't need store-bought toothpaste because it's got this and that. And he made I'm his not mad at it though because I'm even like um, but fluoride he was and smelling. stuff. But he was smelling. He was smelling. I went okay. and got the Pyrex and the Arm and & Hammer <laughs> and started going chill out, chill out. whipping in the kitchen for toothpaste. <laughs> because like, they say like- Better uh, go and get that Colgate. <laughs> you know what? That little Aqua Fresh. I am with you, but I'm not mad. If, as long as you don't smell, but I'm not mad if you're going to try alternatives to deodorant stuff because they say that isn't really good for us. But it wasn't working for him. Okay, cool. So you need to add a little spare everyone. Like a little. You don't need to get that. You um, what's that? Um, toothpaste that you you riff mix. <laughs> Eurovision I, arithmetic. Is it the pink? It's like pink. Euthymol. Euph- yeah, euphemism. Do you say you <laughs> rhythmic? You rhythmic. Eurovision. Okay. Bro, do you know how many words you're just you're mashing Yugoslavia. together, bro? <laughs> bro, Yugoslavian. stop. Stop, bro. <laughs> Bro, man, just hand me that toothpaste, bro. <laughs> bro, they, bro, they were lying. That toothpaste can toothpaste. cure almost anything. Fam, yeah. that's the Abeniki rub of toothpaste. Bro, you, do you know what? That's the toothpaste wrong. you use yeah, after Fam. a night out, and like if you throw it up, whatever, that will get out like, everything. Like bro, I yeah. was like, right, everyone on like the everyone on social media swearing about this toothpaste. They are. Yeah, you from all serious? Listen, I see the, the the toothpaste in my yard, so I was like, oh, okay, let me try. Perfect it. opportunity. Shock. Listen, I was like, rah, my, my teeth are going to fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Why you I remember I used that and I had like a smoker's toothbrush. Worst mistake ever. Mm. Yeah, too, too harsh, too harsh. Too I liked harsh. it though. Sand in your teeth? Yeah, no, it was too harsh, too harsh. I kind of liked it though. You, you liked like the, the sensation in it? Mm, with, the, with the reach tooth, toothbrush. Bro, there's, 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 Why are you do you not know like about that? the reach bro, toothbrush? You can't tell me looking at Chris Allen. There's, there's a lot of innuendos in there. Man, you some reach tooth. There's a lot of stuff going on. Hey, huh? hey. Huh? You're right there. <laughs> what innuendo? Yeah, yeah. Reach. Like, yeah. You know about the reach toothbrushes? No, I, do, I, do, I do, I do, I do. With the with the strong bristle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nah, it gets all the rubble off. Yeah, you get everything out and you look yeah. like, oh, right, that was in there. Mm. Yeah. Gets it all off. It's nothing better than when you that sensation. Okay, cool, yeah. Mm. I've got a fresh mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Yeah. You guys take note, man. You're not hygienic, Don's. Yeah, your mouth cannot be smelling blood in my eye. Because mm, Chrissy will... Because, listen, I'm one train, one tube journey away from wearing the face mask again. I thought you were going to say one tube journey from like working from home permanently because you can't do it again. Yeah, 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 okay. all of that because, you know, people have forgotten about their hygiene. Mm. NHS stopped like, you know, releasing images on how to wash your hands and people have forgotten. And there was this that was palm-coloured babe though. online. This what? Palm-coloured babe. Okay. Um, this palm colour oh, she said she never she will always surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's, I, what <laughs> palm coloured babe. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Fair. Uh, um <laughs> talking about how she stopped washing her hands a couple of years ago because it doesn't make a difference. A couple of years. Yeah, she's like, I stopped washing my hands a while back. It doesn't make a difference. And the other girl was like, Oh my god, me too. But she's like face wipes, just like clean her hands and stuff. Hands like, must sometimes be dark if somebody's in, the in the bathroom, I just like press the tap so it sounds like I'm washing my hands, but I don't Oh, she has the fake wash. Mm-hmm. That's even worse. And she's like, sometimes she has to go there and like when, because someone's coming out of the cubicle and she's like, oh, fuck. Mm. So she just stands there and she goes. Oh, the little fingertip joint and like, yeah. and then she's That's out. crazy. Yeah, it's scary. But she also doesn't bath. Okay. I don't know how we got here to the smelly lot, but you know. Is there anything else that you watch? Because I don't want Love is Blind to. Um, I watched John Wick 1 and 2. To get yourself up to date before you watch John Wick. Four? You don't know my story. Okay, you don't watch something through. You don't know my life. <laughs> you know what I've been through. <laughs> yes, that's sorry, exactly sorry. why. Um, and wow. Yeah. Really because of a car and a dog. <laughs> it wasn't because it wasn't because of that. Yeah. It was because of that, but it wasn't because of that. So look at the mansplain. So it wasn't, but it was, but it could have been, it should have been, it is. About it was a man a, and a dog. It was um the last physical symbol mm. of like family that he had left yeah. right. after the loss of his wife. So the dog was significant in that sense. And I mean, 
people that are animal lovers, like they they see it as like you know a family member. They, they do they their do. pets as a family member. So you know, like if you're that way inclined, and they take my eighty thousand dollar Mustang that is mad rare, crash that and scared the bitch. And I'm a Donny with a specific set of skills <laughs> where like the 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 bosses of the bosses at the top are shook. They all fear him as well. When like, they find out, like, oh my gosh, whose car did you steal? It was John Wick. John Wick. La Cucaracha. It's like, oh, why are you acting like he's a boogeyman? <laughs> yeah, like... He's like, nah, John Wick from. is the person I sent to kill the boogeyman. El Diablo, Baba Yaga. Mm. Like, what else do they like, call him? <laughs> all the Russian lords are on the ropes when they hear it's him. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> like, man it. boxed up his own son. He really did. Because he was like, you stole John Wick's whip. You bastard. Poo, poo, poo. You know